What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. In today's video, we're going to be installing some graphics on the back of our window of our Sequoia. All right guys, so we're going to be installing these graphics on the back of our window here. And I didn't want to put too many graphics on the Sequoia itself. I Reserve that for the trailer, which we are getting graphics on today, in fact. We'll show you in a later video how that all turned out. I'm actually really excited about it. But for now, I just wanted to put our website on the back window here of our vehicle. So when we're not towing it around, at least we have a little bit of advertising. I got this from buildassign.com. You can actually customize your own graphics. And I could have actually just put the Miranda Mobile Auto Spa on the back here, but I went with something simple because I've never installed graphics before, or I have before with a friend, but just very simple vinyl lettering. So that's what I went with, just plain white vinyl lettering with the website. So I just measured it and I custom made it online. And guys, this only cost me 10 bucks or so, or 11 bucks, free shipping. So their prices are amazing and there's a lot of different things you can do. You can order stickers, which I actually will do another video on some custom stickers that I ordered and they're affordable and they're great quality. So you're going to see me install these and I am by no means a professional vinyl installer at all. So this is just me doing it on my own. So consider this a DIY vinyl graphics install. I do have a little bit of knowledge of how to do this. I've seen plenty of videos on how to do it. And uh, basically we're going to clean the surface. We're going to line everything up here, which is nice because I do have, well, it's tinted back here, but I can see the lines in the back here uh, for the heated windows. So I'm going to line it up with that and uh, pretty much, you know, all the way up to the top, maybe about an inch down or so. We'll tape at the corners here. We'll spray some soap solution on the glass. We'll razor blade, we'll clean everything down, prep it, and then make sure that everything is straight with this. And we'll show you how I'm going to do it. Let's get started. So I am going to just use a quick detailer, clean all of the glass first, the first initial cleaning. So get all the top layer gunk off. And I just realized that I don't have my trailer here because it's getting graphics up today. So I don't have a lot of my razor blades and other tools in there. So I'm using what I have in my garage. Now I have to search for a razor blade because I don't think I have one in here. Okay, I do have a razor blade <laughs> and it's just a bare razor blade. I don't have the holder. So I just have to be really, really careful. Okay, so I'm going to just razor blade the top surface here and just make sure to get rid of any bits that are stuck here. It just deep cleans the, the glass. I'm not gonna go crazy in doing the entire window because I don't need to, but I am going to make sure that this is all cleaned, ready to go. So now I'll just use some Gion Prep, basically an IPA, wipe down all the glass. This removes any residual oils. So now our glass is cleaned and prepped. So ready to go. So now the vinyl graphics are printed, of course, backwards. Um, so this is going to be the back. This is the front here. So you can see the lettering right here. So what I'm going to do is tape one corner and then make sure that it is level. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of tape. I will tape it on here first. And this will be my starting point. And I can actually see the little heating coils here. I think, keep running into the trailer hitch here. Make sure not to do that because I've injured myself pretty bad. Okay, that's that's looking pretty good. So I can see the lines. Okay, that's looking pretty good. To get it all the way up to the top here, I might have to try something different because it looks like about two inches. That's not what I want. I want really to be about an inch from the top. So the paper should go all the way up to the top. So here's what I'm gonna do. This window rolls down. So I'm gonna roll it down a little bit. That's more like it. Let's clean the top edge and then we'll redo the taping. Put this down here for now. Okay, there we go. So that way I can get all the way up to the edge. That'll actually act as a perfect line. That's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna tape a couple of sections here because with this, it does have a tendency to kind of curl and bend a little bit and you don't want that. You want, you want these graphics to be as straight as possible. All right, I think that is looking pretty good. I can actually see the bottom of the line here and that looks good. Okay, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll remove 
the backing and then we'll place it right down here. I know, it's not a perfect science, don't freak out. That should work. Okay guys, so we have made our own slip solution, I guess you can call it. It's basically just water, a couple of drops of Lemon Joy and uh, a couple of, maybe a tablespoon uh, isopropyl alcohol. Mix it up and it makes a nice slippery mixture for the vinyl. So I'm just going to peel an edge here, that way I have it ready to go. Yeah, that looks like it'll be pretty, pretty easy. So I'm gonna make sure that this is on like a nice mist. I'm gonna wet underneath it first. And then as I peel it, I'm going to also wet down the vinyl. Now, this is gonna get a little messy, so just be wary of that. But you wanna wet down the vinyl because you don't want anything sticking to it. Okay. So, I'm going to very carefully start to lay it down. Now, the good thing about this, make sure to get it a little bit more wet under there. You can still maneuver the vinyl around. So you wanna make sure that you get it in the right spot and then you can use uh, a squeegee to squeegee, 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 the lettering right on. Now I'm thinking that is looking dead on. That's looking really good. Don't have a proper squeegee, so I'm just gonna use a little uh, store credit card here. But I think this is looking really good. So I'm just going to start to pat it down here and I will start squeegee out any of the water. I think that's looking pretty good. You just wanna make sure that the lettering is all bubble free and it's all laying down properly. So guys, I hope you're enjoying content like this. I know this is kind of do-it-yourself. I'm a detailer, I'm not a graphics installer. But if you enjoy content like this and you wanna see the rest of our videos, we have full interior and exterior videos, some disaster detail videos as well, then consider subscribing and clicking that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. Okay guys, moment of truth. So it looks, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to freak out if it's not completely straight all the way across. Let's start to peel gently peel. I might have to let it dry just a little bit more. And I'm gonna slice the top here so I don't pull and take any of the lettering with me and then I'll be really in trouble. So I'm gonna gently slice the tape here. I will slowly start to peel the lettering back. Might not be adhered perfectly just yet. So it's a little slow going obviously because I don't have a proper slip solution. I just made my own and I may have put a little bit too much soap in it. As it dries, it sticks. So I'm just going little by little, each letter at a time. And as I peel the, the top layer off, I make sure that there's no bubbles and it's laid down properly. What might help is use a, a dryer, like a hair dryer or a little heat gun, and that will dry the solution and make this make the letters adhere quicker and better. Uh, but it's not a problem. I'll just take my time, pull these off, and, and it's, looking, it's looking good. The graphics are looking really nice. So just take your time. There we go. And some of it is still a little slippery underneath, so just don't move it around too much, and you'll be good. And another thing I learned is don't peel it off like this, peel it back very gently so you don't put any pressure to peel it off. So I'm just kind of learning that as I'm going along here. But I'm pretty excited. This is looking, this is looking really nice. You know what would really help is if I purchase some of the tinting tools from carguysupplies.com. I was going to do that, but I really wanted to put these graphics on and I didn't want to wait. So, oh well. But if you are gonna do this, I'll put some links down to the proper tools to purchase to install graphics like this. It would make this job 100% easier. But if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you like kind of doing things on your own, then this is going to work, I guess. Sorry, I guess this will work. So I gotta be very gentle, cause it's still, the letters are still uh, a little loose, but as it dries, then they begin to stick on much better. But go through and just work out any bubbles, any of the solution that still might be under, and uh, it's looking 
it's looking really good. So you can see some of the bubbles and you can work it out with the card or with your finger. Just be very gentle not to move the lettering around. But as it dries, you know, the isopropyl alcohol and the soap solution will evaporate and leave the sticky final residue, the glue, on there and it will adhere. But already, I'm really liking the look of it. I really like the font. Yeah, it just, it looks so good. I'm going to roll up the window now. Make sure I clean behind there. Make sure I work out any of those bubbles. Okay guys, that's it. So uh, it is really, <laughs> it's close to the top. It's a little too close, but I'm fine with that. I, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so yeah, that will work. It looks really, really good. Now the one thing you may notice is I didn't really worry too much about centering it from here to here. It's a little off, but I really don't care. Um, it's fine for what it is. So, you know, if you're doing it professionally, of course, you take all that stuff into consideration, making sure that it's perfectly centered from the top, from the bottom, all that stuff. But this is fine. It looks great. Now, people, uh, when I'm not towing the trailer, you'll be able to see the graphics here. I might put more. I don't know yet. It all depends. But for now, I'm pretty happy with that. If you have a couple of tips, let me know down below. Again, I'm not a professional vinyl graphics installer at all. So I just used what I had on hand and these were only like 10 bucks. So check out the website down below and you can order your own vinyl stickers. And the quality is very, very nice. Very impressed and you can install it yourself. It's really not too difficult to install simple graphics like this. It's actually pretty easy. If you're dealing with intricate stuff, you know, and uh, making sure that you have to measure things properly and all of that, then you run to other issues, other complications. But for this, this was simple. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share with others who may enjoy it or benefit from it. And again, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And if you want to pick up some of our apparel, we have shirts, new hoodies, all sorts of stuff on our store. Click on the links down below and you can purchase that stuff. And any of the profits from the t-shirts and hoodies and all of that stuff go into an account for giveaways so we can purchase tools and products and then give them away to you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a safe week.